Cape Clothing buys and sells variety of clothing items and uses a perpetual inventory system. The business is a registered vet vendor and it is the policy of the business to buy only from other vendors who are able to provide tax invoices. June 2009 was the business second month of trading. The following transaction codes are used by Cape Clothing. So here, if you remember on 2.1, we were given a debtors list. On this one, we are given creditors list. On this one, we are given creditors list of Cape Clothing. So some of the suppliers that we buy materials from includes Top Fabrics, Yarn World, Saba, and Cotton King. So this is what we bought during the month. Remember, this is the Remember, this is the opening balance, or this is the closing balance for for May, which becomes opening balance for June. So this is the opening balance. This is what we are owing to all our suppliers, Top Fabric, Yarn, Saba, and Cotton King. In total, we are owing them. In total, we are owing them fifty-four thousand five hundred and thirteen and twelve cents. So these are the transactions that took place. These are the transactions that took place in the month of June. So these are all the purchases that we did from all these uh, suppliers that we have, and the total was ninety thousand. Then these are all the materials that we are not happy with that we return to the suppliers, the creditors allowance journal. So these are all the items that we returned. And these are all the payments that we made uh, towards those suppliers. So obviously I said when you look at the cash book receipt that time, this one has changed to cash book payment. When you look at the cash book uh, payments, we are concerned with creditors. So don't look at the bank that much. Just look at the column for creditors because you might end up writing this balance instead of right in this one then we are also given a general journal here when we paid top fabric they gave us a discount of four percent and here a young world is also a data to us so the balance that we he was owing us and the balance that we owed them cancelled each other here then Cotton King charged us interest for not paying on time. They charged us interest of 9%. So they required at the bottom, they say, prepare, prepare the creditors ledger, including the creditors list on 80 June. Prepare the creditors control account for June 2009 in the general ledger of Cape Clothing. The account must be properly, properly balanced and reconciled with the totals of creditors list. Now, I think by now you know what to do. Just that with this one, it's not that has a reconciliation, it's creditors reconciliation. So it might be a bit different, but it's more or less the same thing. So who was arrested yesterday? Form four. People were arrested. When they have to submit, someone was at police station. Hey, guys, I'm not laughing, you know, like it's a serious day, this thing. And the sister sent an email explaining the situation that the student is arrested. No, okay, the student was involved in an accident on his way to buy food or collect food around 10 o'clock at night. So he couldn't submit because of that. <laughs> uh, guys, you guys are killing me. Yo, uh, you guys are the coolest chef. Yes, yes. Hey. So let's start. Like, I, I can't even stop laughing. When I think about that scenario, even Jay, like, I'm laughing even now. <laughs> you know, I, hey, yeah, there's so many things. But then someone around 9 o'clock yesterday sent me a message and said, say, I don't understand question 5 until question 7. <laughs> let's be honest, guys. It's not fair. Three months. Three months. When you are left with about two hours, three hours, you, you tell me that you, you don't understand. I said, I don't understand, and I cannot 
submit unfinished work. Okay, it's your choice. Whether you submit it or you're not going to submit. At this point, I can't help you. You can't ask me at 8 at night about question 5. It's Friday. I'm not waking at 8 o'clock at night. I'm going to say, I know it's late. But, you know, for the fact that you know it's late, why are you texting? You even say it's late, like you know that it's late. Why are you texting? Guys? <laughs> okay, we open account called Creditors Control Account. Not in a bad way, guys. Not that I, I, I want to see you guys suffer or anything. Just that uh, we need to be punctual. We need to learn to be punctual and take our schoolwork serious. That's all. I mean, like, we've been, we've been telling you guys to submit every single day and for three months. And maybe like I thought some people dropped out until yesterday. Then I saw people that I am. I almost asked, didn't you drop out or something? Because these people, they haven't been even attending classes. Same with classes. People are not attending classes. You will see, they're supposed to submit Thursday. You will see on Thursday. Say, I don't understand. That's Thursday. So, I don't know. The last minute, they won't, they won't assist us, guys. We need to be punctual with our schoolwork. And let's not let's not uh, try to involve our sisters and parents where it's not necessary. Now your parent must come and write an email. Uh, my son couldn't submit. He went to buy bread How? for three months. The other one asked, can I submit via WhatsApp? He said, no, you can't submit on WhatsApp. Ah, last minute, he saw that, ah, you know what, this thing is going to kill me. He just submitted on WhatsApp. <laughs> oh, you guys are late. And I don't know why you're making this thing so difficult. You know, when I was a student, submitting things, I, I didn't want to see work next to, I didn't want to know that I have work. I just wanted to always be free. So the first thing that I will do, I will submit because I was doing a lot of uh, other activities at Koskolo. So I had to make sure that um, I always submit my things on time. But with you, if all, imagine if you have to get a workplace, if you go to a workplace and get a job and you are not, you are not, you, you are not disciplined, you're not going to last this. Because there you will work with deadlines and all these things. You're going to be the last, that person on a deadline or can you seek leave? You get sick. So, in this control account, we look at we look at the balance, obviously, the opening balance, and our opening balance here is going to be 50, 54,513 percent. So remember, this is Kate's control account. If it was the test control account, the balance would be here. Ne? Now, because this is a Kate's control account, our balance is on the it's on the credit side. Why is our balance on the credit side? When we buy items from suppliers on credit, this is a liability to the business. So liability increases on the on the credit side. So if you buy, if you have a balance, it will appear this side. Once we pay it will minus this side. Ne? So let me just put the plus minus this side and the plus this side so you can just have an idea. Let's see if it's going to allow me. I don't think it's even going to allow that. Let me try this. Yeah. So at the top, I'm just... So this side... It is the minus side. The debit side is a minus side. The credit side is a plus side. If you buy items on credit, you are increasing your liability. So your liability increases on the credit side. If you pay, you are decreasing it, and you're going to show it on the debit side. So the opening balance here is going to be on the on the credit side. Uh, the guys online, are you guys fine? So far, are you guys fine? You don't have issues. I hope you're not one of the people who submitted uh after 12 yesterday because you're not going to market not in a bad way like we are just sticking to the deadline okay everyone is okay i assume since well they are not saying anything 
So the amount here is going to be this one, 54,513,12. And this is uh, the balance brought down or balance brought forward. On the detail, you can just write balance. Date is 1st of June. We are done with the balance and the purchases with that we did during the month, they equal to 90,521. 90,521, 63. And this is the folder number, it's CJ, Creditors Journal. And here, this can be sundry purchases or just total purchases. Let's just call it total purchases. And this is the 30, 30 June. Then these are the items that we are retaining. Obviously, if we return items, we need to deduct them from what we are owing. So it's going to come on the other side. Uh, we are retaining 14,519. So we put that 14519,33. The file number is going to be creditors allowance journal. On the detail, we write purchase returns or, yeah, purchase returns, purchase returns. And this happened on the 30th of June. Then we look if we made any payments to our suppliers. So we made payments of 38,226.39. So if you can check at the bottom, I'm not taking the one that is appearing on the bank. I'm taking the one that appears on the creditors control because we are doing this was the bank includes a lot of things includes people that are not even our suppliers, includes all payments that we made. So we only concern with the creditors on this one. So we took this one, 38,266, that's the payment that we made. So I'm just going to write it here, 38,266,39. This comes from cash book payment, until June. This one, what do, what do we call it? You can call it so many things. What do you think we should call it? Someone might call it trading in green trade, but I would prefer just writing bank. The reason why I'm writing bank is because if you go to the bank on the credit side, you're going to reduce your bank this much because that's the money given the bank. Yeah. If you can check the example or the, the activity that we did before this one where we were doing a debtors control account when we received money we wrote bank on the on the credit side no? if you go to the actual bank account you're going to write that amount on the debit side because it's an asset and it increases our bank balance so Cash book payment we done here. We go to the general journal of Cape clothing. So here they gave us a discount of four percent. Now remember, with with debtors control, I was saying that we must look at the credit side because the credit side was the one that showed the total amounts. Now if you can check here, what is happening is that now the one that shows the total amounts here it is the debit side. Can you see that? The one five double two five nine here it's separated. So now we are focusing on the on the one on the debit side. This one's the two tons. So they give us a discount. If you give us a discount, it reduces what we owe the suppliers. So the discount here was one five double two comma five nine on thirty June. 
Retail, we write journal voucher discount. This comes from general general. Then if we are done with the first one. Could you take oh thanks for seeing that? So you get ten, so yeah, but okay. 10 June now on the 26th we are having what you call a balance that is being transferred a balance that is being transferred meaning that whatever that we are owing this amount we are settling it with with them remember that side also we, we had a balance transfer so we need to cancel this one this amount that we were supposed to pay them we're not going to pay to them so we just need to cancel it out because they are also owing us the same amount so we are going to write that is control here the amount was the three thousand two seven two four This comes from the journal journal and the date this is happening on the 26th June. So we are done with this one and the last one we have interest paid. So here we are being charged interest on overdue account. So we are being charged interest. We need to show it on the on the credit side. So it's the row four. Come on, my right journal voucher interest paid. Journal voucher. Interest paid. It was on the thirtieth June. So we have dealt with this one. Do we have any additional information? Nope, we don't have any additional information. So based on this, we need to we need to balance it off. So you take the bigger side between the two sides. So obviously, if you had to highlight this side, you have 20, 21,000, no, 87,000. So obviously, total purchase on its own is 90,000. So the bigger side is this one. I was gonna write it on the other side here. The other side is this one. We do this and write it here. Sum. You write the same amount even on the other side. Uh, the guys online, do you want to say something? I had someone copying it, I'm not sure. This amount is not the same unless okay cool the guys online do you have any questions i felt someone coughing or oh, you were testing if the mic is working no sir okay cool so obviously we need to minus this from this one so it's equals to this one Minus this, minus this, minus this, and minus this one. So we have five fifty-seven thousand seven hundred and fifty-eight is our remaining balance. This is this is going to be your closing balance. Which is June, which automatically will become your opening balance for, for July. One, yes, yeah, it's the same thing as uh, that has again that has reconciliation, just that this one is creditors and consideration. So, with creditors and consideration, you normally will do it the other way around. 
So it's basically the same thing, just that you are doing it vice versa. So here it's balance, put forward, put down. And then you are done with your capital reconciliation. So before I go to the individual uh, creditors list or creditors accounts, do you guys have questions on this one before I move forward? Uh, guys online, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Guys, don't wait for the four at twelve o'clock at night to ask me a question. At least now this now it's a chance. So it's a fair a chance for everyone to ask a question. Guys online, do you have questions? Okay, you don't have questions. Let me ask the ones in class. Guys, do you have questions? Or are you fine as well? Okay. Pardon? The minus part you don't get. Okay. Which minus? Oh. That one even is very simple. Remember, I was just closing off the, the books. Now, when you close off your books, you look at the side that is bigger than the other one. So if you had to, if I have to hide these things, I'm just going to hide here so that you can see what I did. If you have to look at this is this is the information that we had né? when we finished. I just I just looked on both sides, the credit side and the debit side to say which side is bigger than the other one. If you can check this side. When I added all of this, I got 87,000. So obviously by virtue, this one is going to be big because already you have one amount that is 90,000 here. So 90,000 plus 54, if you, if you can highlight somewhere at the bottom here, it's written 145. So this side, it is the bigger one compared to this side. This side is 87. So this side is 145. So I just added this one and I wrote the total here. What's the amount I have? I wrote it here. I wrote this amount here, the total. And from there, I'm just minusing the 87,000 from the 145. So I took the same 145, I also wrote it here. Then I said 145, 339,68 minus this one, minus this one, minus this one, minus this one. And it gave me this one, the 57,748. So this becomes my closing balance for June. So here I just hold closing balance for June on the 30th. Now remember what I said about closing balances. Closing balance of January becomes opening balance for February. Closing balance for February becomes opening balance for March. Closing balance for March becomes opening for May. So this is a closing balance for June, which will become opening balance for July. Hence, I came back here and I, I wrote this. First of July, balance brought forward or brought down the same amount, 57,758. Uh, so it, is, it was actually me balancing the books. Nothing nothing much there. Do, do you at least get the, the logic? Okay. Do you, get, do you guys still have more questions on this one before I move forward? Or you understand? Can I move forward? One, two. Even a two second. Sure. So now we go to go back to the requirements. They said prepare creditor slash. Have we done that? Now we need to balance this and reconcile it with the creditors list. Those individual accounts. So we need to open accounts for for our our creditors. So I'm just going to copy this, put it somewhere here. So let's start with the first credit. When you look at the creditors list at the beginning of the month, who do we have? We have Top Fabric, Yarn, Sava, and Cotton. Right? We start with Top Top Fabrics. So this is a con controller. Now this is creditors account. No longer a control account. This is creditors account for top fabric. 
for fabrics I'm just going to highlight this site So the open balance for top fabric is 11,000. So here 11,056,60. Open balance. That's done. Uh, details here we write balance. And once we are done with that one, we go to Kansas Journal. We look at if they if we bought anything from them during this month. Yes, we bought items for thirty-one thousand seven hundred and eighty-eight. We bought for thirty-one thousand seven hundred and eighty-eight. This is the purchase we made, so you can just write purchase or sundry purchases. I'm just going to write purchases here. This was on the first June. Then did we did we return anything to them? Yes, we returned stuff worth five thousand four hundred and zero three and ninety six. This is creditors allowance journal, and these are purchase returns. Purchase returns. And this took place on the fifth of June. And we Look if we paid anything to them. Top fabric, yes, we paid thirty-six thousand five hundred and eighteen and zero five. So we paid thirty-six thousand five hundred and eighteen comma zero five. This is church book payment. Church book payment. Here I'm just going to write bank and we paid on the on the tenth of June. Do we have anything for top fabric on the general journal? Yes, the first one, the discount that they gave us of one five double two. Here top fabric one five double two. So the discount also comes here one five double two comma five nine general journal uh, general voucher discount I'm just going to copy it here since I have it this was on the tenth as well so we are done with top fabric this is young wool, this is cotton, so we are done with them. We do the same. Before we do that, obviously, we must now balance this off. We look at the bigger side. If we, have, if we can check here, this side we have 11,000 plus 31,000. This side we have 5,000 plus 36,000 plus 1,005. So if I add 11 plus 31, I'm getting 43,444. If I add this column, I'm going to get 43,444, so the balance is going to be zero. Are you away? So we can, if there is no bigger side, you can start any anyway. This side or this side, doesn't matter. Balance is going to remain the same. So you press choose some. Of the two, even if I can say equals to some just to verify that this balance is the same. 
that it's expressing. So here you can type zero, zero closing balance. Click here to join, and here you also going to have zero as a uh, balance port forward for July. Then we are done with this one. We need to do another account for. Our next one. So the next one on the pages list is so we did this one. We do Yan Yan World. Yeah, Yan World. So I'm just going to copy and copy and change where I need to change because it's similar. So the first thing that I need to change is the name. Yan World. And then the balance for him it was eleven thousand one two six, eleven thousand one two, eleven thousand one two six, comma eighty. Then the patches that we made, they are equal to 29,139. 29,139. Then the returns that we did, they were worth 5,245. 5,245, And payments, obviously I need to change the the date, so I'm concerned about the date. I think by now you know how to change the date. So let's look at Facebook payment. Did we, enroll, did we pay any to him? Yes, we paid 1,742 and 34. So we paid 1,732, 1, 34. We have any some sort of a discount or anything? Nope. We just know that his balance was transferred thirty three thousand. So we need to cancel the balance here, which is how much thirty three thousand two seven two. I think we have written it somewhere already. It's here, so we can just copy the transaction as it is. I'm gonna come here and just put it here. Are you guys fine? So the balance, whatever that he owed us, it was transferred. Or whatever that we owe him, so whatever that we owe him, we didn't actually pay him because he also owed us. So we just transferred the balance. That's why in the detail I have written that has control. The balance that we had or that has control, we just transferred it into the captain's account so that it cancels each other. So Automatically, it has balanced itself, but I'm not sure. Let's let's find out first if it did. So this side, if you combine the two, you have four. If you combine these two sides, these two sides, you have. Find a little code in. Okay, it's here. You have four forty thousand two hundred and sixty-five. This side, ne? So obviously, I also need to write it here. So let's write this here. If you can check which, guys, what happened? When I write, I wrote the amount. And some boards are, you guys are quiet. 
I took it go for the wrong person, this account. I wanna get this this like, oh, so here it's fine. I was supposed to put it here, not there. Sorry, guys. Unless I will learn, I know so you're, you're dealing with yarn, uh, not top fabric. So that uh, that account uh, must come here. So this amount, I took it this side. So it's fine now. So I took it this side. So this amount minus this, minus this, minus this, it gives you zero. So you can just add all of them and see if you still get 40265. So you probably get the same. So this side is the same as this side. It's 40,265. The balance is going to be zero. Who still uh, seems lost? You are alone, no one else. Okay, uh, where did you get lost on this one? So that we can assist. Or I can recommend school. I'm too fast. Oh no, no, I understand. Sorry, sorry for being fast. Just that we did king, that has a consolation, remember? So by now I, I in fact know that you know this thing, just that we are doing can't test the consideration. It's, it's, yeah, your next doesn't is the opposite. If you have to practice these things, you will see uh, this one. It's in fact simple. So, so sorry for, for being fast. It's simple. It is simple, this one. It's just the opposite of that has a consideration. Remember, if that has a consideration, those balances will be on the other side and things will just be twisted a bit. Sure. You want to do that? Remember, remember things. Remember the reason why we are doing this the way I'm doing it. Then I prefer that method to be to be honest. Where I write this thing on the board, then we just write it there. The reason why I can't write on the board anymore is because someone is sitting at home and they can't come to school and they have resources. So I'm accommodating them as well. So teaching style has changed. I can't. If we put a camera, we have more on happy. It's also a problem. People can see clearly there. Because I've seen with other lecturers, they are trying to they take a computer by somewhere and and even again, you can check. We have a lot of cables. This cable, you get in other venues like this one, you won't be able to go at So it is, yeah, it's it's quite a challenging time. We are just adapting. We are adapting to these new things. Because now I'm the only one who's writing. And already someone is saying, say you are too fast. So I need to be very slow. So I will try my best to to be slow. In fact, I'm a slow learner. I don't know why I'm fast. I take time to understand things myself. But once I know them, I become quicker. So since school is recommend just that we don't have a sanitizer you come here and write it so let's do the same for who's the next person on the campus list saba so i'm gonna give you guys five minutes to do saba then i will do it so just, just check if you can do it on yourself or it's a matter of copy and paste oh, i didn't see you at the back you came today Welcome. <laughs> Guys, right now I know people that come to class. I know people that go online. So, so she, not that she doesn't come to class. She, she comes online. Today she came live. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do, let's do Saba. Ne? So I'm going to wait here for one minute so that you know what to do first. So obviously the first thing that you must do, you must write the total for Saba. Ne? You must start with the opening balance for for Saba, so which is the 12,185. So the guys at home, you can also do the same. If you are not watching dishes, you can also uh, do the same thing. Start with Saba, open uh, that has a, a general accounting, create has account for Saba, and start with the opening balance of 12,000.
Sababili is the quick one. You are done, guys. Ne? You are done? Because this one, I think, is a quick one. There's no a lot of things happening. Students are weird. Just to do one activity, they, they play music. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, yeah, the, you guys, you guys are killing me. Yo, since yesterday, hi. Just to do one activity already. You guys play music. Can I activity one? I understand. You are lost. No, don't worry, you will be found. Uh, where where did you get lost? Everything. Yeah, that's a tough one. Don't worry, you will be. You know, you know, accounting. Let me tell you how accounting it is like. When someone explains to you, you will understand forty percent of what they are saying. But when you start to do it yourself, it becomes better. So you, when someone explains to you, don't expect to understand 100% up until you have tried it. And then you try to follow what they were saying. Then you can get the picture. Because now when someone explains accounting to me, I think I understand 5% of what they are saying. Up until I sit down and I struggle alone. Yeah, you see, at least you know why you are behind. It is because of the you've been focusing on other modules. Maybe the, other, those modules they are due now. Now, so once you shift your focus, you forget what is happening. But you will catch up, like you said. Once you practice, you will be fine. Guys, we are done. Eh? I can do the correction now. Okay, let's let's start. Uh, I'm going to just copy this as it is because I'm I'm just going to change the end there. So this was the account for Saba. This is for Saba, and the opening balance for Saba it was twelve thousand one eight five. And 40 and comma 40. Then did we make any purchase from them? We bought items for 500. 524, 50. And did we return any of those uh, any items to them? Yes, we return items with 68 rand. 68 rand, comma 19. Did we make any payment? We didn't make any payment, so it's one of banks. I'm just going to delete it because we didn't make any payment. Do we have any general general transactions for them? Yeah. No. So even this one, I'm just going to clear, and that's how it it has to look. So I'm gonna clear and calculate, guys. So bear with me. Or I can just clear everything here. Clear content and this site as well. Clear contents, then I just have to recalculate everything. Yeah, I think it's not nice. Let me just remove that. No bother. So which site it's so it's like this. Ah, guys, why did I give you six minutes for doing this? <laughs> so obviously, I think we can see the bigger side here. Ne? So the bigger side, it's on the other. Now someone can ask me, so what happens if the other side is the bigger one? Now I'm going to post that question to you. What, what do you think happens if the other side is the bigger one? It what? It? Ah, guys, remember if you can check all most of these sites, all the sites that have been bigger than the one is this one, this side. 
Now I'm asking, what happens in a case whereby this side is the bigger one? Sorry for not being clear. The David side is the bigger one. What happens if your closing balance here? Okay, let's go somewhere where there's an actual balance. What happens if this balance it's on the other side? What does it mean? Remember, when the balance is on this side, what does it mean? Okay, let's start with this one. Since when we did this one. When the balance is this side, what does it mean? Okay, the guys online, I think they are going to assist us. You carry it down. Ha, ah, guys, imagine I'm doing grade one and I'm asking you what does this balance mean? And you say, I carry it down. It won't make sense. Okay, I understand. Me and you, I think, Pamela, we might understand each other what you are trying to say, but uh, explain this to a one-year-old or a grade one who wants to understand why did you write this amount on this side and not on the other side? If Nanapokhalona finds you doing this thing and asking you, why do you write this amount here and you don't say this balance is here? Why is it this side? Uh, what, what are you going to say? You can't say to them you are carrying it down. This is someone who does not know anything about accounting. So you must explain this thing in the simplest form to them. So I'm asking you guys, why did we have the balance this side? Or what does this balance here mean? Yes, I know it means that for July, it's going to be open in balance. I get that. But what does it mean? Why is the balance on the credit side and not the debit side? Okay, let's look at the plus and the minus so that they can assist you. Remember, this is a creditors control account. If it's a plus here, meaning that this 57,000 is a plus, ne? it means that we are still owing suppliers that amount. After paying them, when we start 1st of July, we will still have an outstanding amount that we are owing them. Ne? Does it make sense? If this ba balance is this side, let's say it's negative 57,000, it means we don't owe them. In fact, there's someone who is owing us. Ne? It might mean they now owe us. Maybe it's a, it was a refund that they are supposed to be doing, so they will be owing us. So that's what it means. The reason why it's this side, it means that at the beginning of July, you are still owing some of your suppliers 57,000 total. So if it's on this side, it means maybe it was a return, they haven't given you the money, but they are supposed to give you that money. So here, this is the bigger side. Here becomes our closing balance. For June. and it's not even a closing balance sorry guys i didn't even minus this one so this i have to write it here at the top to june balance carry down so here i'm going to say 12 minus 68 rand this is my balance and going to be carried down to the next month or brought down to the next month okay so is this is balance brought forward or brought down to july right so you are done with our account for saba ne? So we are done, guys. We let's check again. I'm gonna go to the exam, uh, example. Go back to this and check if we dealt with everyone. So so far we did yarn, we did Saba. Now we need to do cotton kin. Ne? So I'm gonna give you again five minutes to do cotton. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I added the two again. I got 12. This is the 12 that you are seeing even here. Then I minus 68. So here is 12,700. There is 12,641. So this one becomes my my closing balance and my opening for July. So uh, we need to do what now? Let me check. We need to do account for, for cotton. Ne? So I'm going to give you five minutes to do it. Not five minutes a lot. Three. So school food say we have to draw the table first. It's just a team for me. Let's collect. Then you are done. There's not much drawing that needs to happen. So I'm going to give you guys uh, three minutes to do account for cotton. It's now 11.15 by 11. 11.18. You guys must be done. We have one minute. It's not me, it's the time.
it's even 19 minutes uh, it's even 19 now so i gave you an additional one minute so you guys are done ne? uh did you guys do it all of you did you all do it so if i can go like and check if you did it if you did, I, I will find that you did it no she said no so you didn't do it ha ah, why I don't understand. I do understand. So you do understand, you are fine. Mm. So okay, it's fine. Let let me do the the correction for it. Copy and somewhere here. This was for cotton king. This was for cotton chain. What was the opening balance for cotton? 19,000. 4.32. Any purchases? How much? And oh, it's just like that. Uh, any returns that we made? How much? Again, or oh, it's just like this. Comma 92. Comma 92. Uh, what else? Did we make any payments? No. General voucher. Uh, which has an interest, ne? Of 304, where do I write it? David side or credit side? David. David. Someone said David. Come on. Come on. That's Bokam, look at my very good accounting. You must say David or credit. Don't say Kanakamu. I know what you're saying, Welcome. I know, but I want you to say. So we take it on the debit side or we take it on the credit side. Now mm -hmm. you're an accountant. Mm -hmm. What is this amount? Mm -hmm. So what do we take it? Guys, don't say calm. Because I'm looking at both of you. Eh? She said calm. And when you're saying calm. What is that side called? For a credit. Or not a debit. For a debit. Debit, debit, credit, debit. No, no, I said debit. No, it's fine. I just want to hear. Sure. Credit, debit. Uh, this more, more, What are you saying? Debit, credit, debit, credit. I'm not sure. I like your honest. David. Isn't David or credit? David. At the back. David. Okay. I think a lot of people said David. Ne? At some point it was a song. David, 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 David. Uh, who said David? Escoff, why do you think it's David? Because other accounts general general that's your reason yeah. guys, maybe, <laughs> no all, all the guys were saying david maybe you can assist him or you can add or yeah based on what he's saying i'm also saying on the david side what do you think okay why is why do you think it's a david okay. because of i know with this one it has Credit. So mm. with credit trust control, it has to be on the same, and then with debt trust control, it has to be on the same. So I'm doing grade one, and you are telling me uh, that. Uh, but it's not, this is not grade one. I, I can't, guys, remember, the, the reason why I'm saying I'm doing grade one, I want you to give me in the simplest form, so that even a person who's not doing accounting, if you have to go and explain to someone who's doing marketing or someone who's doing something different as we speak, you can be able to explain this thing to them. 
yako debit side o chenchile no asa ga credit no okay uh, let's uh, let's let's get the views of those who are online as well uh, guys online uh, what do you think we have interest paid here yara cotton king where do we take it do we take it on the debit side or the credit side and most of the people in class they are saying that we are taking it to the debit side so luena if you're going to say we are taking it to the debit side or the credit side you must at least tell us why you think we're taking it to that side where do you think we're taking it guys online are you are you there can you hear me can can you even see me happy you guys are quiet Asanda, let's start with you. Uh, you are the first one on my list. Asanda, what do you think? Ah, look shady. Okay. Uh, credit costs its interest and not discount. Okay. Who said this? This was Pamela saying credit. Guys, I'm going to go back. Thanks, uh, Pamela, for your answer. I'm going to go back to what we were doing, ne? Remember already we did a cashless control account. Ne? Where did we take it? It's here. Can you see it? Channel voucher interest paid. So there's nothing that is changing. So you still need to take to take it to to credit side. The reason why we are taking it to credit pardon? yeah it's no i i i understand what you're saying uh i think one of one of the the reason here that they did maybe it's me but interest paid maybe it's me who who got this thing twisted ne? if we do pay it is going to be on the on the debit side but remember what what do we are doing in our books i will just check remember what do we are doing in our books i'm accounting for it i'm accounting for the fact that this interest was charged on overdue account ne? so when i when we wrote whatever that we wrote here this was us accounting for it it's like with the interest income the interest income that we we wrote yesterday if you can remember what we did with it on the uh, individual accounts that person was paying it to us automatically we wrote it on the other side and they did a reversal and we cancel it on the other side with the interest income on the debtors reconciliation so here when i write the the 304.93 i'm accounting for it remember it was charged so far you can't even see that it's charged it's not anywhere here to be shown but immediately when I put it this side, I'm showing that that interest was charged on whatever that we are having in our books. So that interest, it was charged on overdue account by 9%. So if, if you have to look at this, if I just have to write interest paid without first writing it on the other side to show that we are, we are charged interest, it's going to not reflect in our books. So the 309, I wrote it this side. But I understand the people who said the logic to people who said the debit side because they were saying, but say here they are saying interest paid. Hence, um, they are thinking that we are taking it to the debit side. So I think this is my this is my thinking. I think this was supposed to say interest charged instead of interest paid. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Because when it's interest charged, then you know that you're going to write it on the side. So when you write interest paid the next person they will see that but it is paid instead ne? so if this was written as interest charged it will show this on the other side where i'm showing it because we are accounting for the interest that was charged on the overdue account but let's say it is paid as well let's assume it is paid so the first thing before we even pay it what are we going to do we're going to show it the side ne? Draw four, then here I'm going to write a journal voucher interest. Journal voucher interest. 
uh, it was on the on the bit yet. Mm -hmm. You cancel the site. So let's say it is, it is paid, like we are saying. Let's agree. Let's say it is paid. If you can check what I did, I accounted for for it first. When I put it aside, I am acknowledging the fact that they have charged us, they have charged us red interest on the credit side. Hence, it is increasing the creditors. If we now pay it, we still need to write it aside. So it does not take the the fact that it does not take away the fact that it is still need to be it is still need to be written on the credit side. On the credit side, you are acknowledging that they are charging me three oh four. But if you just write 304 this side and you say interest, it didn't first reflect on the credit side. Remember, even when you buy things on credit, you first write them on the on the credit side. When you pay them late, you write them on the other side. So you must acknowledge that they have charged us interest. You cannot just pay without first acknowledging that they charged it. So let's say we did pay it. This is how we're going to record it. We must still record it this side and we must still come this side. And here you can say interest charged as well. In fact, you just, pardon? Remember, guys, remember, remember the reason why I'm this is my thinking. You said it is paid. The reason why I'm thinking it is not paid. Remember, we are given a that's why I'm saying that their wedding is wrong for me. They were supposed to say interest charged and not paid. If it is paid, it's supposed to appear on the cash book payments. This is what we paid. Whatever that you are seeing in the cash book payments, those are the payments that we made. Do you understand? But do we have the three or something on the cash book payment? It's not, it's not reflecting. Hence, I'm saying that instead of saying interest paid here, they were supposed to say interest charged. Right. Um, yeah. 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 Then Monday we will discuss the actual test. That's what I'm thinking. I saw the blood. So I don't know if it's good. I'm not going to take it. 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 No, on my side, you're fine. I think you're fine. Uh, I will hear from them Monday, because I said we are from now until Monday. We must attempt it. We must do it. But when we meet on Monday, we come with questions. I can just give it to them every day. We come with questions, then I'll address the questions. Then by Tuesday, then we will say we can submit. Before Thursday. Before Thursday. Before Thursday. Before Thursday. Before Thursday. So Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll submit the questions. No. Thanks, but for if I next time I will I will need it. <laughs> Thanks, uh, guys. The interest paid here. That's what I was saying to you. To me, it is not paid. Whatever that is paid, it's appearing in the cash book payments. Ne? So it was supposed. It was. Pardon. It guys. Don't. It's exactly. It's exactly. So they have charged us more interest on the month that we haven't paid. So let's say we're owing them five thousand. Month end, come month end, we haven't paid the five thousand. After three days, they send us another statement to say, for the fact that you haven't paid on time, now we are charging you interest. It's like discount. Discount if you pay in time, someone might give you a discount. To say instead of giving me forty thousand. It's fine, just give me the 5,000. The 5,000 will be your discount. But if you take long to pay, they will charge the interest. Meaning that next time when you're going to pay, you must also pay the interest. So I was saying to you that the interest paid that you are seeing me and you here, it hasn't been paid. If it was paid, 
it was supposed to reflect in the in the cash book payments. So it is just at month end. Check the date here. It is just at month end. So by month end, we haven't paid this thing. We only knew by month end that they charged us interest. So when we for next month we will pay that interest. So here we were just supposed to say interest charged and not interest paid. Because to someone when you say paid, it means you have actually made the actual transaction. Overdue account, I just explained it. If you owe someone money or if you owe Makam money and you promise that every month I'm going to pay you 300, come month end, you don't pay your 300. They start fooling you. Hey, school, who are you? You said you're going to pay. I will pay. Your account becomes an overdue because you have a deadline to pay that amount. And as they, as they are phoning you and trying to find out when are you paying and if you say hey, for this month i don't have money i'll pay i will pay it next month they charge interest on that month that you didn't pay on time because they even took effort to phone you to remind you to pay while you made a commitment that on this day i'm going to pay so your account become it becomes an overdue it's like an outstanding amount that you are still owing so so for me that's that's the logic. This thing was not paid. So here, here there's nothing that we have to write. So, but it's fine. I will also discuss this with the other lecturers and see what they think. Because in the textbook they do mistakes as well. You know that. So we must apply our logic. We must not we must not just go limit and agree to everything that is given to us. We must apply our common sense where we can. So. This interest paid, that's how I'm treating it on my side. Someone, obviously, because they said it, it was paid, someone might have written it even on this side. So I understand. But for exam, I will, uh, for the test that you guys are going to write, I'm just going to go through it with you on Monday to ensure that they didn't do similar mistakes like here. Because sometimes the people who said the, the test, they take activities from the book as they are. They cut and paste and give you as a test. Mm. It's you know for this year I think it's the same thing as the first semester. You are going to have to take home test one, take home test two. Just that the difference is that you must submit by Thursday. There's no the 28th, it's not November or the next year. It's this Thursday. Thursday, then you are 24. You must submit. What, what about Friday? Before the Friday. Before the Friday? Yes, yes we have much more time. I thought the gift is day. Okay, but take it as if it's Thursday. Once you okay, like Friday or Mela Friday. So, so take it as if your your last day to submit it's Thursday. So that if something doesn't work, also go this like at 12 o'clock, you still have Friday. Don't wait for Friday and call me at 11, Friday. <laughs> My phone is not working, guys. On Friday after 4, don't even try. In fact, Friday on its own. Don't ask me about submitting because Monday I'll, I will discuss the test with you. So what I'm what I'm saying is that after I finish this class from today up until Monday, I expect you to go and try and do the test. Monday come to class and I have questions to say, sir, I did one, two, three. I don't understand. Can can you at least give me guidelines how to approach this question? Then by Friday, what I don't understand. Guys, my phone is not working. I won't have that. I won't have that. So we, we just need to balance this. Here, we just need to balance this. And you will think students are playing when they say it's battle phone. They phone me this. <laughs> and sometimes when you answer, immediately when you answer, I say, Tora, Tora, Fela, my mom wants to speak to you, mom. <laughs> Hi, sir. How are you? Yes, man. It's my child. Hey, yes, ma. Can I assist? No, you see the problem eh? that we have to set the load shedding. Oh, yes. Now they can submit. What do you think he must do now? Come to campus. But there's COVID. <laughs> Your parents are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Eh? They called me. Oh, they called me. And it's. Eh? 
It happened. Yesterday, uh, yesterday I was not. Uh, yesterday I was not taking chances. Even those when we were asking questions, someone said, "Sir, I've been trying to submit for the past three hours. He doesn't want to submit." I responded and I said, "Try again." <laughs> I've been trying. I then I didn't respond because it's seriously last minute. If you do things right last minute, guys, we are going to be stressed and we are going to do mistakes because we just want to finish, finish and submit quickly. It's not going to assist. So don't find yourself in the same situation as well. And the boring part about this one is that if you don't submit by Thursday, you get zero. Guys, yeah, yeah, Friday, you go alone. And I'm submit you take a Thursday. I'm going to tell you why I'm saying Thursday. If you're going to tell yourself it's Friday, you're not going to submit until Friday. So give yourself that buffering time between Friday and Thursday to say that if I can try to submit by Thursday, if I still have mistakes or I, I still can't submit, then you have the whole day on Friday to submit. So also on Friday, once I go to Friday, it's good. Oh yeah, I'm always, you're gonna wait for the last minute to do it. So this is how we write the, let me see if the guys online have any questions so far. So let's check. Do we have any new any new supplier in our transactions? Because you get that we do have the new supplier. So this is uh, we dealt with Cotton King. If you can check, we have Office City as a new supplier. So Office City, when you do the books for Office City, Office City won't have an opening balance because this is a new supplier to us. So. Let me just copy the same thing. Uh, paste this one and change here and say office, office CT. Guys, uh, just told me that you guys are saying you are not ready for the test. For, for submitting accounting, you are not ready. Okay, what is the reason for you guys not being ready? It's too much. No? It's not that you're not doing the work. It's just that everything is congested. Yeah. So they, they must give you more time. So keep ready, pila pila. It's a more discover ready because everything. So okay, if what is your suggestion? What do you think must happen? So you, in a week you must submit once, then you submit the other week. Let's say the, twice a week, but it's twice. No, 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 no. They don't want the submissions. Ah, 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 the resubmission doesn't work. Guys, guys, I'm going to tell you, now in my entire life, I have never had a resubmission. Resubmission, you know, and I'm still a student, eh? I'm doing, I'm finishing my master's, and we don't have the resubmission. In fact, my supervisor is always shouting at me, I can't. And there's not, there, there was never a COVID. That guy does not want excuses. Don't tell him about COVID. He wants the work. Sometimes I even switch off my phone because I don't know where he gets my numbers. He calls and wants the work. I this guy here, I want to know. I can I switch my phone off. He even watch my status, more WhatsApp. When I'm busy uploading status, when are you submitting? It's like that video of, of Uber. When are you getting married? Every time your parents call you, when are you getting married? I said, this guy is just here. So for you guys, Rosebank College is being a darling. I don't want to lie. They want you guys to pass. To be honest, now there was a time where we were writing the test on the same day. In the morning, I was writing law. Uh, immediately after I finished, after two hours, I was writing accounting. You know what they did, other students? Other students, they they just went like, okay, which one is difficult between law and accounting? So accounting was difficult, so they wrote accounting. 
for law, they went and they got sick. They submitted sick notes so that they can write on a particular day. But for us, after sick notes, it's money as well. You must go to a doctor and fake being sick. I just wrote everything. I didn't want to fail. I didn't want to complicate my life. So I just studied both of them. So I was studying two hours. I'm studying law. Three hours, I'm doing accounting. The next two hours, I'm sleeping. The next one hour, I'm chilling with the gents. The next two hours, I'm back again. I'm studying. Because you, you, you wouldn't even have a schedule. Don't sleep. Don't sleep as if you are done with school. Eight hours. I'm being honest. You, you, know, you are not supposed to sleep as if you are done with school. In fact, you are not even supposed to know when it's night or when it's day. You only rest when you are tired. Then you wake up again to work. And then you will see. It will become simple. The problem is, I have a time, nine o'clock, you guys watch Como. Yeah. And you still have school work. You must cancel. You must come to my place one day. You will see. I have this big TV, but I'm not even paying a DSTV. I don't have time for watching TV. No, it has nothing to do with Lebonga. I was paying it, but I, I noticed that I don't watch TV. No, I don't have kids yet. So, <laughs> no, if, if I had kids, maybe I would, I, would, I, would, I would switch it on. But I'm saying for you, you also don't have kids. In fact, you are the kid, go alone. <laughs> You are the kid working on school, so you need to prioritize school. Hence, we are doing full time and not part time. So, with full time, we expect you to always be doing your school work. TV and other things make that thing for weekends. During the week, just focus on school work. You will see, you will pass. <laughs> Guys, we all been through this. At some point, all of us were students. I, I didn't just wake up in the morning and and God, where I am. All of us, the fifty in the moon. And I can tell you, if you become lazy as a student, you will always be a lazy person. Even at your workplace. In fact, you will see when you get to a workplace, it even gets worse. No, I've never failed. Even a test or assignment. I failed. Yes, I failed. I failed grade one. <laughs> no, I'm being honest. I, but the reason why I failed is because I was coming from the villages and that like ah, see, hey, that transition in that year, I was still trying to understand what is happening here. So that year I failed, and my friends they passed all of them. So January, you know, failing grade one. Imagine as a child, you fail grade one. So they came in January. Those kids they will come to my class and laugh at me. And you'll be there waiting for the new kids to join you. And your friends are doing grade two. And when I'm still in grade one. So I never wanted to fail again. After they laughed at me, I never wanted to fail. So I have never failed. Even Kamachinya and other June, I have never failed anything in my life. In fact, my lowest mark was 60. In ever since I went to school, my lowest mark was 60. So what I'm saying, when I hear you guys complain, I'm like, yeah, man. 60 was my lowest. So one day I, I, I will show you my academic record, you have a seat. Maybe you can be inspired when you see it. And you can ask yourself, what was this person doing? We were studying. Always studying. Even the people that, in fact, I had, I had about five friends, and those friends, they were always competing with me, without me knowing. Without me knowing, they will compete. If I don't come to class and say what class was or something, they don't tell me. Because they know if they can tell me that information, that information, maybe it might be something that they need in order for their bugs to defeat the attack. But I always find my way. So what I'm saying, I'm not putting pressure to say, study like me, do what I was doing. I'm just saying time management, have time for books, have time for friends, have time for TV. You see Gomorrah, Gomorrah is very nice, but don't watch it during the week. Watch it over the weekend. Watch it over the weekend. During the week, you don't watch TV. For how long you must maybe you must have this sign, do not disturb. When you are there, no one must disturb you. They must just call you when they have to give you food. And you go back to your room. That's the only way you're going to make it, guys. Otherwise, if you're going to start to be lazy now and start to mind things, it's going to be difficult. 
some of the jobs when you apply they ask you can you work under pressure that time you are not you are not working again you want the job ah, i can work under pressure i've been under pressure for all my life then then you go under pressure and you see ah, when I'm, i was not ready for these things so the pressure that you are feeling at school it is that thing one day you'll go for an interview and they will say to you give us a scenario whereby you were working under pressure and you are able to say there was a time where i had to submit uh assignments on two days i had no sleep i had to make sure that i finished these things so i cut off communication and i was just self-isolating so that i finished this work now imagine you don't have a time where you were under pressure ah, me me i'm never under pressure my things are always in order life is not like that guys so let's do the office city the opening balance for office city is going to be zero and one thing that I noticed, if 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 you are in a school or you are going to be disturbed, because you are not going to be school, you are doing other things. I don't know what school. No, I want another thing that affected me. It was that how high my green was selling alcohol. You know, have you ever seen a house where they sell alcohol? And not not a lot of our Baba to one more. After they they are a bit tipsy, they start singing and uh, gospel songs. And that time I want to start. So I will wait until 12 o'clock at night for everyone to sleep and to go. Then I will come out. And, and we only have one table. And that table, that's where the people who are drinking alcohol will sit. So I will wait for them to sleep so that that table, I can clean it and sit on it. So metric, I think I was the first person that uh, passed in the morning uh, half past five. I will sleep uh, half past four. Going to school uh, half past five. Sometimes the bus went into some food. Beep, beep. No, no. I haven't even bathed because I was studying. Then I'll tell my granny, no, I will take a taxi. Yeah, I tell it to go. Hey, it's late. I will take a taxi. I still need to bath. My granny will tell me, we are paying this bus. There's, no, there's, not, there's nothing that you're when you're going to bath. I will go in a taxi to wear a uniform. Yeah, there's nothing one of these things. I will go there. I get there now. You, you get those ladies who are very fun about The ladies, especially, what kind of makeup in the morning? But when I change, you have to watch up. Hey, but the makeup. When you get to school, we are about to ride. It is zero for them. But I knew I always prioritize my schoolwork. I didn't have excuse when coming to my schoolwork. If it means I'm not going to sleep, then so let it be. I will sleep after school. But I always prioritize my schoolwork. So even with you, do the same thing. Ah, guys, you are submitting Tuesday, the other one you are submitting Friday. You have plenty of time. This weekend, don't even think about going out. Study. Do what you have to do. School is not forever. At some point, you will finish. Three years now, sacrificing fun and all these things. Then you, I'm telling you, if you pass everything, if you pass everything and you don't fail, it's three years. You finish, you get your first qualification. In fact, after you get this one, you feel like it was too quick. You do another one. One year you finish, you do another one. You see, what happened to the first one? You finished it, you have it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Studying, studying doesn't, hence I'm saying, even at my, at my age, I'm still studying. And I don't see if I'm going to stop studying. It's not even about getting a job anymore. It's, that, it's just about always being up to date, always improving yourself. Self-development. Oh, what's the one? You know, when I came out, there was no direction. You know, most ladies, even if they don't have direction, they want you as a guy to have direction. So, us guys, you must just push. So, for office, we did a purchase of five double two five double two nine comma one three. Then do we have any returns? Yes, it's 94124. 94, no, we didn't finish. We are far from finishing. Cash payment. I'm gonna be done six minutes is a lot of time. Uh did we pay anything? No, we didn't pay anything. Uh do we have any general ledger? No, we don't have anything, so we just need to balance that. I need to cancel this one their content so that's it so here we just need to balance this one 
this one here so it's this one here you say 5,229 minus 941, 529 is balancing. You are done with this one. So you need to do captures list. Captures list, we have, who's the first one? We have top fabric, top fabric, we have, Yarn, wool, we have sub, King Saba, Saba, then we have cotton, cotton King, then we have office time, we have office finance, we have office CT. The city and the amount for top fabric you just take the total top fabric it's zero amount for yarn amount for yarn the balance is also zero the balance for saba the balance for saba it's twelve thousand the balance for cotton king 40,000 and the balance for office fine, yeah, office fine, office CT. Then, here yeah, you can just do it up total when you are done. And this is your total. So we are, we are done. This is where it ends. This is where it ends. I think this one was simple as well. It's just a matter of practicing on your side. Guys, I, 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 I don't know. If you did pure maths, you will know. If you don't practice maths, it will show you flames. The other maths, I think they also practiced as well. Yeah, yeah the other one, I don't know because I didn't do the other one. But if you did the other one, chances are you were practicing yana or doing something. So you're not practicing. So with accounting, after I finish, when you go home, when you get home, you must do it again. Otherwise, tomorrow, you forgot everything. Because this thing, they are still new in your mind. You will think you know them. Up until you have to do the test. And I think COVID, you guys are large. If you have to write in class, you think COVID, you guys are large. If you have to write in class, you're going to see flames. So this one, at least you are at home. There are resources. If you are struggling, YouTube. Sometimes you you, you cut and paste from the internet, and you still market. You, you understand? You have the resources. Imagine if I have to give you more classes. Like, three hours. We go seven or so. Okay. We are going to show you flames. No shaba one. We are silly one. Why shaba one? Oh, I got the next question. This one is more difficult. What well, about the first one? So at least, guys, use this time to. This I, I can tell you. I wish I wish I I did school when I was COVID came back then. No matter the number percent fell or so. That is the very second submission. I will make sure. So so Luana, do the same thing. You have more time on your side. You are not writing in class. You don't have pressure of remembering this thing. You can actually do the test with this thing. Then you just try to see what we're doing. So, shop guys, see you Monday. But please, Monday, I want question 1.4. Yeah? Question 1.4. Ice task, you don't submit Monday, it's also zero. Uh, so from today until Monday, you do 1.4. You can finish by today. Tomorrow, you start doing test one. Monday, when I come, we start, we start to discuss uh, take home test one. So I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do a uh, memo for take home test one. I'm going to do, guys, remember, so those who ask me by Monday, if I'm not seeing you Monday, it's fine. There are people that I'm meeting Monday. So I'm referring to those. Just stick to your timetable. If you have to attend Monday, 
we discuss it on Monday. If I'm seeing you on Tuesday, we discuss it on Tuesday. Booklet, yeah, 1.4. It does not have a booklet, 1.4. Yeah, you must draw the tables. People are passing because of answer booklet. Just one, just one. Just one, yeah. Just one, I think I sent the answer booklet on the right. No. No, you, you can recreate your own table. The reason why they give you a table is to make things easy for you. So now when you do it your own way, it becomes difficult because now you'll be losing easy marks because you couldn't pick it up because you used a different format. If they give you a format, stick to that format. Someone was doing a cash book receipt. You know that table? But you do that well. Now I have to mark and I have to look for amounts where they are because now it's a list. It's no longer a table. They hold everything in a list. And some people are, as well, if you are struggling with resources, guys, come to campus. Write whatever that you need to write in a piece of paper. You come to school, there are computers here. You spend the day, you do those things on a computer, you submit. This thing you do like a phone. It's also contributing to the reason why people are getting low marks. Why are you supposed to put a table? How do you put a table in a cell phone? No, you guys are you guys are expect. I'm telling you there are other kids. Why are they supposed to put the table? One of the amount one one. You must assume this table, but there's no table. Uno di ras open space and scroll and space akwala hap and space akwala. When I wish I learn, why wonder this person was trying to do a table, but it's not a table this thing. Or they 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 take a picture ka ka mobisel. They scan ka mobisel. You look for the amount. I will take six or get eight. But those are the phones that you some of you guys are using again. If you if you don't afford, maybe you have a nice mobile cell yeah, but the camera you know. So all the picture, it's not even clear. So so just come to campus and make things easy for yourself. Uh guys that are attending online, uh our class is over. Even it's 12 o'clock. Thanks for attending. See you next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, don't call me guys on Friday. Monday, Tuesday, the whole week you have time to uh, ask me questions about the test. Because if I was another lecturer, I was, I was going to say, for well, Monday we do learning unit three. But imagine if I, I'm going to start learning unit three while you're still doing test one. I'm going to confuse you. Wait, sir. But it's good, you know, you know, remember if someone who's going to teach you a test, what is a test? Define a test. A test is something that they are testing you on, on a, a principle. So if I'm going to teach you a test and I don't teach you everything, chances are you only know the test, but you don't know the, the actual way. Because the person who taught you, they taught you the test. So if you teach a person everything, even if it does not appear in a test, remember a test is out of 60. Some of the things they won't get a chance to be asked in the in a test because they are testing you. But some of the things it's necessary for you to, to know even if they are not testing you. So which one is it? Do you want to be taught the test or do you want to be taught the whole concept? Both. <laughs> Guys, okay, Sharp, I think I I, I, I saw you. <laughs> it's fine, I'm gonna log off now. Thanks for attending, guys.